What's up, what's up, everybody? And we're back with some Hero Coliseum. Well, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude, and we're back with some Hero Coliseum. As you can see, as you just saw, we're running hashtag double trouble. Shout out to Highly Motivated for this one. I told you it wasn't going to come very soon. Well, guess what? It's coming pretty soon. And we're running the Vegito Blue Double Trouble team. Now, you have the Videl with O2 skills. You have him with O2 skills, him with O2 skills. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's just do this, because I'm going to be lowering damage output fairly, a fair amount. You're not, who are you going to put top left, though? Ooh, I already know what you're doing, brother. I've been planned for this. Oh, you bowed to me? I'll bow to you, because I like bowing, especially if people are respectful. I always bow. Let's do that. No, dude. Come on, brother. You're really going to run out two skills on that piccolo, but here's the deal. My Piccolo is going to be getting 170 defense. Now he's the HP version, but he's going to be getting his defense lowered by 30%. Here's the deal, though, that my Piccolo and my Bardock are going to hit fairly hard against your hit fairly hard against your Piccolo. I'm actually triggered that you're running the Videl, though, because the Videl is just stupidly broken. I don't know if he's running the defensive version. I'm assuming he's running the speed version. I didn't really check. Wow. This is a <coughs> wow. I take forever with my turns, and it's annoying. But I like to be prepared for all situations, so that is why I like to do what I do and look through the teams and stuff, look through the people he's picking and stuff like that, look through their skills and stuff. I understand I do it, and it's kind of annoying to me, but it's whatever. What Piccolo? Whoa, did I not put defense up on Piccolo? Okay, I did. Okay, so obviously that 30% didn't matter that much because he's still tanking like a beast. That Piccolo's not going to hit that hard because he is not the HP Piccolo, I believe. Yes, okay, so that Piccolo is going to hit take a fair amount of damage, I believe. He does have O2 skills on his Piccolo, but the Bardock hits fairly hard, and the Piccolo has about 4,000 attack. So we'll see how much damage I can actually output, because if I take out that Piccolo, there is going to be some damage done to him, because once you take out a Piccolo, I feel like I've said Piccolo a million times, shout out to all of you that commented my most said sentences and sayings that I've ever said, because who was it? I don't know, but shout out to you. You timed. You literally time stamped every time I said, here's the deal. Literally three times within like five minutes I said it, bro. It is hilarious. That made me laugh and generally made me was just, I started laughing. I was at work when I read it. Ooh, can I get a double, please? You're taking out your piccolo. No way you're not taking out the piccolo because if you don't, he's going to die. Because next time, next turn... I'm going to be running, by the way, shout out to the Destroyer69. That's actually pretty funny. But, yeah, there's no way you're keeping that Piccolo in. My Piccolo survived, but I don't have to worry about him doing massive damage to my master. Like, he doesn't have that hard of hitters. The only one he has is him at level 60, who hits fairly hard. But if you don't have, like, the proper units or proper, like, Chompa or something like that, you're not going to do that much damage. Now, I can run the same setup. You're gaining defense. You're gaining defense and attack. Yeah, this setup is gross. I kind of want to run this because if I can tank any of these hits, they are going to be doing massive amounts of damage even if you run a three-lane setup. I kind of want to do it, but I'm kind of scared because he doesn't have that much HP, dude. Ooh, I really want to do this. No, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'm fine with taking this damage. His Videl's probably going to die this turn because the Gogeta has a 20% damage buff, which is basically going to, like, counterbalance the Whis a little bit. That Vegito is going to hit fairly hard against his Whis because he is getting... Um, de I, I don't think I have defensive up on him, but he is getting a 170 defensive buff from the Bardock. And the basically the Big Bang Vegeta is going to hit fairly hard, but I am lowering his damage output by 10% because of the Gogeta. Gogeta's a very good figure, like... I slept on Gogeta. When I pulled him for the first time, I was like, okay, wow, I have 2,000 speed. That's the only time that'll ever happen, is when I'm running a team like this, which everybody has less than 2,000 speed. Plus, minus 20% damage taken, minus 10% damage dealt. He gets that, he's got that, and he's got that. This man, Vegito Blue, is a monster, guys. Shout out to Vegito Blue, even though he's in this game. Shout out to you, bro. Okay, you're running the speed, Videl. That's the only reason you got that much speed in the first place, because you are running the Whis with higher attack, which means... Vegito Blue actually is going to do a fair amount of damage to the Whis. The Whis, though, this is the scary part, is if he ever runs the Piccolo again and my Vegito Blue is out on the field, if his HP drops below 50%, he's ignoring defense, which means Piccolo's 5,000 defense to the Master means nothing to him. You're going to hit fairly hard, though. Like 5. 5.8, I'll take it. 
I'll take that damage. Hashtag damage down in the comment section below, guys. I still have my Piccolo, and he does have a one skills on the Golden Frieza. But if I just keep running, my Piccolo, my Bardock, and my Gogeta continuously, ET skills will never, he'll never get an ult. You lowered my defense, though. Oh, you're going to hit hard, aren't you? Oh, I'm going to survive. Get a double, please. Let's go. I'll take it. That means I'm going to have to hide him with a Piccolo, and a, I'm going to have to hide him with a Bardock and a Piccolo setup, which means I'm going to be ignoring defense on whoever I attack, which means GG to whoever he attacks, guys. But hope you guys, hope you guys are enjoying my content because I love... Ooh, double, please. Nope. No. Okay, it's fine. Bardock should be able to take you out anyways. You're going to hit hard. Oh my gosh, brother. 6K on a Whis. He has a 30% damage and mitigation. Bro, Vegito Boo is a very good figure. Shout out to Highly Motivated for this team. He's a very good figure. Like, I don't understand. I don't see a lot of Vegito Blues either. I don't see Gogeta and I don't see Vegito Blue. Now, one figure I'm highly waiting for is, shout out to whoever commented it down below. I forget who it was. But you commented and said, wait till Gogeta Blue, Gogeta, Gogeta Blue, Blue Gogeta slides in this game. And I cannot wait for that setup. I cannot wait for it. But here's the deal. I said it again. My God, I said here's the deal again. Okay, you got you got a lot of defense, Piccolo. Jesus. All right, here's the... Caught myself, guys. But um, he's, he, he has these O2 skills. He's going to run him in the Big Bang Vegeta. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to body you, bro. You have 2,000 defense. 2,000. Oh, I know. I need to hide you with the Bardock. Yeah, that has to happen. Okay, GG. Um, cause here's the, almost caught myself again, guys, but the Bardock is going to not hit that hard compared to the Vegito Blue, cause the Vegito Blue is ignoring defense. So he's going to hit for a, like, he's going to hit for like 8k. The Piccolo that he has, I don't believe will be able to take out my Piccolo because I'm giving him a 170 defensive buff again. He's getting a 350 defensive buff from the defensive up F. And if I manage to go first, which I'm probably going to go first because a lot of my figures have a low speed, um, and I put defensive I put defensive ET on Bardock because I was going to run him in the front a lot of times, but considering the team he's running, don't get a Spirit Bomb, please. He's probably going to get a Spirit Bomb next turn, though, because I'm lowering his HP below 50% easy. You're not going first. It's impossible. You're not going second. It's impossible for you to go second here. But as I was saying, if I can go second, which I did... Piccolo is going to be getting a plus 700 to defense. So he gained 1,000. He gained, whoa. He gained a massive, like, 1,300 defense, 1,300, 1,400 defense combined from the defensive up F, the defensive up SEC, and his own posing skill. Three, though. You hit for three still. Whoa. That is a lot of damage. Hashtag damage down in the comment section below, everybody. But, all right. Three lane setups. Up. Three lane setups. It is. I'm gonna run the um, HP Vegito Blue next turn because he does have. He just has more HP, and I do have a bunch of defensive. Ep I do have a bunch of defensive skills on him. I still have my Piccolo for one more turn. That is huge for me. It's keeping that Piccolo alive. His Piccolo is gonna die this turn, which means he can't run a three lane setup anymore. Plus, I have ET skills, so he's forced to run a Golden Frieza next turn with 0-1 skills, because that's the only way he's going to be able to... My God, he hit for almost 10, bro. That is unreal. Bro, that's the first time I've ever gotten him to hit for 9. And he, because he ignores defense, basically he kills Piccolos. Okay, I see. You're not going to hit that hard. You probably have, like, close to... close to 6.5 to 7k attack, dude. You've been gaining 250 attack just like everybody else. Bardock is a very good figure as well. He's very good for O2 skills with the um, Piccolo, which I didn't run when I did the O2 team. I ran Android 17 in the Piccolo. But how much... What's your defense looking like? What is everybody's attack looking like? Oh, my God. It's blowing my mind here, guys. Blowing my mind here. But here's the deal. I said it again. I'm going to run this here and this here. Simply due to the fact that is if you put the Big Bang Vegeta out... Oh, no, dude. Come on. Okay. This is tricky. This is tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's do that because he is going to be gaining some defense again, which means he's going to be... He's just going to get tankier. Let's do that. That's actually a good idea. 
All right, I didn't need to run the Piccolo here, and I shouldn't have ran the Piccolo here because I could have ran the Gogeta, which is going to be lower damage output, and opposed to the Piccolo, giving my master 5,000 defense. Oh, no. Ooh! That's actually not that bad. Be oh, no, the Big Bang Vegeta is going to kill him. The Big Bang Vegeta is easily going to kill him. I was about to say that if Vegito Blue can survive, all three of them are de all both of them are dead. But there's just no way. If I would have ran a Piccolo, if I would have ran the Gogeta, maybe because their damage output would have been skewed by 10%. Don't give him a Spirit Bomb. Ta -da! Well, Vegito Blue's dead without a shadow of a doubt. How much HP am I gonna have? I'm gonna have like seven left, right? I had seven. Oh, okay. No. Oh, it's gonna be so close, dude. It's gonna be so freaking close. I almost said here's the deal, guys, again. But if Golden Frieza can survive this attack. Oh, no, you're dead. Without a doubt. You have a 5% damage mitigation, but there's no way the Big Bang Vegeta isn't hitting for, like, yeah, GG. Okay. Golden Frieza doesn't hit that hard, though. And I have a 5% damage mitigation from the Bardock, which is actually pretty clutch. Brother, GG. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take him out with the Bardock slash Piccolo setup I have going on here. I'm going to have ET skills, which means I'm going to be able to run another three-lane setup, which means tankiness on tankiness on tankiness is coming out. I'm running Bardock top middle or Bardock bottom middle Piccolo or something like that. I have to run some type of defensive setup. And you don't have defensive mitigation. Never mind. That's GG. <sighs> Brother, guys. But... That is going to do for the video. I'm probably going to... Actually, that is not going to do for the video. I'm going to hop into a free battle to show you guys how this team works. And I'm going to use it against a higher attack team. A higher attack free battle. Just to prove that... Um, just to show how sur how this survivability works with this team. Bardock put in work for this team. Now, in my opinion, I would have put the Golden Frieza in the middle. With a one... Actually, no. Yeah, I would have put Golden Frieza... I would have put Golden Frieza up against Piccolo there and then put the Big Bang Vegeta against the Vegito Blue because Vegito Blue would have died regardless. The Piccolo would have died regardless, so it would have been up to the Bardock. The Bardock, so it would have killed. But it would have been a very sticky situation, guys. But I'm going to hop into a free battle. I hope to catch you guys in the second fight because I'm actually loving this team and the amount of attack this thing gains from the Bardock. All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. Mugs, where's the free battle? Well, as you just heard past Mugs say that I was going to hop into a free battle and, probably, and fight the Kibu, which I uh, fight the Kibu free battle which I did, but as I'm editing this currently at 12 o'clock at night, I'm looking, and there's no audio for the video at all. I don't know what happened to it. I guess I either bumped my mic and muted it or unplugged my um, my Yeti mic right now, and it was just, I'm blown away. So right now, all I have was the online battle that I had with Destroyer 69er. Very fun match, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I'm very sorry for this because the free battle was actually down to the wire. Probably one of my closer free battles. And I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't get to show you guys this. But hope to catch you guys in the next video, everybody. Da -da Deuces, everybody. Hashtag Road to 2K still going on. 1.5K subs at the end of the month. There will be a... Um, there will be a giveaway in December. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Did it, everybody? Hope you all had a fantastic day.